So guys, for the first step, once you're on Google Chrome, you're gonna click on the three dots in the top right, and then you're gonna click on history, and then click on history again. Now, once you're on this, you're gonna click on delete browsing data. Now, you're gonna set the time range to all time, and you're gonna select cookies and other site data, and cache images and files. Select both of these, and then click on delete data. And now for the second step, you're gonna click on the three dots in the top right again, and then click on extensions, and then click on manage extensions. If you have any extensions here that you think may be causing a problem, you either want to disable it or you can remove it. And now for the next step, you're gonna click on the three dots in the top right again and then click on settings. Now on the left hand side, you're gonna click on about Chrome and it's now gonna start checking for updates. Make sure that your Google Chrome is fully up to date. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter. You're gonna double click on it and then click on properties and then click on Internet Protocol version 4. Now you're going to select, use the following DNS server address. You're going to make the first line 8888, and you're going to make the second line 8844, and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search and type in CMD, then you're going to run it as administrator. And then click on Yes. And then once you're on this, you're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, click on Enter. And now you're going to type in NETSH space Winsock space reset and click on enter again. And then once you complete all these steps, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.